He currently holds the WBC welterweight and WBA Super World Super Welterweight titles. Ladies and gentlemen, here is boxing's undisputed number one attraction, the pound for pound superstar and the eight time five weight division champion of the world, introducing the undefeated, the one. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Floyd Mayweather vs. Manny Pacquiao, Setting the Scene, Episode 6. In this video, we're going to take a look at an additional set of Mayweather's attributes, and I really do hope you enjoy this video. This is, of course, the roadmap to the biggest fight in boxing history. This is the roadmap to May 2nd, the roadmap to Mayweather vs. Manny Pacquiao. Now, as I said previously, we've come to the end of the skills section. What that means is the videos I'm going to do from now, we're still going to be talking about the skills, but it's going to be in more detail with the fight as I think it's going to play out. All right, guys, so with the introduction out of the way, you can basically think of this video as a continuation of episode four, where we looked at some of Mayweather's attributes previously. So with that said, Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, setting the scene, episode six. I hope you enjoyed the video. Insane, but they're really twat. Homie, we really hot. Name rank A block. Slang cane, chain hang, heavy bop. Maintain thanks, ain't Millie's pop. I'm from the big city of dreams. You got plenty of hustlers. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is Mayweather's body punching ability. When we talk about Mayweather being able to do everything in the ring, that includes going to the body very well. And it's something he's been doing since he's been in the 96 Olympic team. Mayweather has been one of the best body punchers in boxing. So it's crazy to me how, you know, more people aren't talking about the fact that his body punching is going to make a difference in this fight. So here we see him versus El Chino Marcos Maidana. And you see him land an absolutely perfect left uppercut to the body. Now, when we ask ourselves, Manny Pacquiao doesn't really protect his body very well. How do you think this is going to impact the fight? See, this is the kind of thing Mayweather would slip in throughout the first fight with El Chino Maidana, which a lot of people didn't notice. But thankfully, Pauline Malinaji would notice these, uh, you know, body shots Mayweather was getting in. Watch for Mayweather. He's slipping in small body shots. They're little pot shots, but they can't suck the air out of you. You know, this is something which is very typical in boxing. You see somebody who is throwing a lot of punches, letting their hands go so much, and the crowd thinks this person is actually doing work, when, whereas Mayweather is the one who's actually getting the clean, effective punches in there. And then people come back and tell you that Marcus Maidana beat Mayweather, and you just, you just, your mind just boggles as you think, what fight were you watching? But anyway, let's take a look at Mayweather's body punching in the earlier parts of his career. Scuffle on the break on the ropes, and there's the punch right there in the solar plexus. So here we have Floyd versus Gregorio Vargas. Now we're about to see Floyd control and then use this left hook to the body. Look at this with the left hook to the body. Look how accurate, look how precise, look how he's able to generate power and leverage behind this left hook to the body. And this actually puts Gregorio Vargas down on the canvas. You know, Floyd is one of the most accomplished body punchers in his era chance he got in the last round when he knocked Vargas down with a body shot, but I think Gregorio... Good body punch. punch. Good. There, there you go. The kind of chance he got in the last round when he knocked Vargas down with a body shot, but I think Gregorio... Good body punch. punch. Good. There, there you go. Left hand to the body again by Mayweather. This is what I was saying. I would like to make, even though it's again... All right, so let's analyze the sequence of events. Gregorio Vargas has Floyd on the ropes, right? You see Floyd looking for openings. Vargas is the one on the offense. Floyd slips in his body shot, and all of a sudden, here we have Gregorio Vargas backing away onto the ropes. Now, let me tell you something. Vargas isn't stepping back because he has a plane to catch. He's not stepping back because he wants to enjoy the view. Okay, he's not stepping back because... You know, he has a dentist appointment. He's stepping back because he took something vicious to the body that he didn't really appreciate. Okay, so we really need to begin to understand just how good of a body puncher Floyd Mayweather was and how much he still is. And I think this is going to have a good impact in this fight with Manny Pacquiao, who I believe most of you have noticed doesn't actually protect himself to the body. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Mayweather's counterpunching ability. 
Make no mistake about the situation. Floyd Mayweather really is the best counterpuncher in boxing today. And no, Manny Pacquiao has not faced anybody who counterpunches like Floyd. So fast, isn't he? So fast, isn't he? Yeah, Just great vision, hasn't he, as well? The reason I like this clip so much is because it's one thing to see a punch coming towards you and then counter that punch, you know, based on detecting where the punch is coming from. It's a completely different thing to be able to create counter punching opportunities yourself. Here you're going to see Floyd use his jab to draw the right hand, which he then counters with his overhand left hook to the head. Now the reason this works so well is because Floyd had already picked up on the fact that Canelo was trying to box with him and was using that right hand to try to counter Floyd's jab and Floyd then uses his own jab to draw the right hand fully expecting that, that right hand from Canelo so he can counter with that overhand left hook that you just saw. That is the difference between being a good counter puncher and being an elite counter puncher who can create counter punching opportunities based on studying his opponents. So fast, isn't he? As we take a look at this again, we see Mayweather's jab causes Canelo to shoot that right hand. Now, Mayweather sees this right hand coming, shifts his weight to his back foot. In other words, he pulls away or fades away from this punch. This actually causes Canelo to overextend himself, which brings him closer to Floyd's range. Canelo is also leaning over his front foot. Now, when you're very front foot heavy and you're leaning like this into your opponent's range, this is what an excellent counter puncher can capitalize on, just like you see Floyd doing in this clip. Okay, so now I want to talk about the fact that Floyd is coming into this fight with Manny Pacquiao with a reach, height, size, and strength advantage. Reach, height, size, and strength. That's all of them. Okay, and he's the better boxer than Manny Pacquiao. Usually in boxing, when you have a guy who's the better boxer, who's very skilled, you know, somebody who really knows what they're doing in the ring, when you match them up against a guy who has all the physical advantages, all the physical you know, traits, who is bigger than him, stronger than him, you know, has a reach advantage and a size advantage. Typically, what you end up having is a much, much, much closer fight between the guy who has all the skill and the guy who has the physical advantages. This is not what you're looking at. You're actually looking at a situation where the guy who is the technician, the guy who has all the skill, the guy who is the ring general, the guy who is who has the boxing IQ that is once in a generation, the guy who is a supreme boxer is coming into this fight with Manny Pacquiao also with every single physical advantage in terms of the reach, in terms of the size, in terms of the height, you know, in terms of the strength. Don't be fooled. Floyd has been fighting people who are way bigger than him. Canelo Alvarez, El Chino Maidana, Miguel Cotto, Victor Ortiz. He's been facing people much bigger than he is. And he's been beating these guys and in many cases, walking these people down. Floyd is a very strong individual. All I'm trying to say is this. He has all the boxing skill. He's bigger than Pacquiao. He's stronger than Pacquiao. He has a longer reach than Pacquiao. And he's taller than Pacquiao. Usually when people talk about a reach advantage by itself, that usually doesn't have much of an impact in boxing. Because a guy who has a good understanding of range and knows how to get in and get out can easily neutralize your reach advantage. But at the flip side, somebody with a good jab, for example, like Mayweather, who has a reach advantage, can really make this fight very difficult for Manny Pacquiao. Okay, the thing we need to realize is the closer Manny Pacquiao is to Floyd Mayweather, the better his chances in the fight. Okay, but now you have to ask yourself a question. Mayweather with the longer reach, with an educated jab, with a very, very effective right hand, the most deadly punch against the southpaw. How do you think Pacquiao bridges that distance between the jab the left hook and the right hand without sustaining any damage. This is what you have to ask yourself because Floyd can outbox Pacquiao on the outside. Pacquiao's best chance is if he can get in there and throw flurries and then get back out. He wants to get in and get out. The problem is when he's getting in, he has, the, he has to deal with the jab, he has to deal with the left hook, he has to deal with that right hand. Okay, he has to deal with these things. And so you have to ask yourself, how effective do you think he's going to be at actually getting in there? Now, if he decides to stand off Floyd and box Floyd from the outside, how successful do you think that strategy is going to be?
The next question I have for you is if Pacquiao decides to throw caution to the wind and jump in, because this would be, you know, the quickest way he can actually bridge the distance is by just lunging towards Floyd. I already talked about Floyd's counterpunching. You saw what happened with Marquez. Do you think that is going to significantly impact this fight if he just starts jumping in against a guy like Floyd Mayweather who can catch you with superior timing? This is the things that people who really understand boxing talk about when they talk about the fight between Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao is the smallest guy Floyd has faced since 2009. I just have to keep saying this because a lot of people are forgetting. Floyd has all the physical advantages and he's the better boxer and there will be a price to pay whenever Pacquiao attempts to get on the inside. So with that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Please click the red button to subscribe so you don't miss any of my updates. Of course, you have previous videos you can click on the side panel to enjoy. There's also a more popular video which you might as well check out as well. Once again, please like, comment and subscribe and please share my videos. Thank you. I show you them scars, started with a thought, cause we ain't have a lot, always knew I'd be a star, they be an astronaut, I'm trying to get mine.